not by decree, nor war, nor blood-stained land, but by the touch of structured shaping hand. The world was changed not where the scepter struck, but where the light in symmetry was plucked. The crown was not a badge the tyrant wore, but interface where self became yet more. In gold and bone, in plume and gleaming thread, it spoke of lives attuned, not merely led. Three forces met upon that hallowed ring, the soul in rise, the eye that saw, the thing, to wear, to see, to make, these acts aligned in feedback loops that magnified the mind. The self was changed by what the hand had built. The gaze was changed by seeing beauty's hilt, and art was changed by how its form was used. Thus, each through each, the triad was infused. No one alone could rule or understand, but only when all three did join the strand. The crown transformed because it held in grace the drive to shape, to feel, and to efface. It shifted posture, altered tone and gait. It made the bearer sovereign to their state, and others, seeing, felt the poise extend, as if the soul had reached its outer end. That felt authority, once shaped and worn, became the seed of kingships not yet born. For once a mind could stabilize its beam, the world around it bent to meet the dream. And thus did crowns, not armies, forge the throne, by making inward stillness outward shown. Not might but clarity became the law, and rule began where others gazed in awe. From field to form, from breath to bead and braid, the structure gave the inner truth a blade. It carved through chaos, made the self precise, and turned attention into something twice. Twice felt, within, the quieting of storm, without the birth of culture through the form. Craft fed command, and presence honed the hand. The world was shaped not by the crown, but stand. For standing crowned, the bearer did not own, but channeled like a bell, or hollowed stone. What passed through them was field made flesh and fire, and thus did world and self become entire. So changed the world, when first that circle shone. Not as a sign, but as alignment known. Not as a mark of what one sought to be, but shape that let the self become the three. And still it shines where form and feeling meet. A ring of mind completed and complete. Where thought and gaze and craft together bend. The crown begins again and has no end.